which player do you find is hardest to tackle at the Rhinos? I would say by the sheer size of him, but also adding in a bit of skill and class that he has, is Connie Conrad, the corn man, Harrell. He's a monster. He, um, I'm glad he's on our team. Um, and he, he tends to go with the backs um, for combat and tackling as well. And I found myself in the forwards, so I'm kind of glad. And I only do it outside on the pitch. Um, so I'm kind of glad I don't have to run straight at him and he doesn't have to run straight at me. So that's quite a blessing, really. Who is the best Super League player I have played with? I would say I've got a tough, tough range to choose from. I've got Rob Burrow, Danny Maguire, Jamie Peacock, uh, Kevin Sinfield, Carl Ablett, Jim Jones Buchanan, all these people um, that I'm picking from, uh, from the teams that I've played with and, and, and all these different characters I've played with. But I would say the one that I'd go for um, is Jamie Peacock. Um, always seems to be always seem to be um, one step ahead of everyone, always up for the battle, always getting everyone else up for the battle. And he were um, relentless and ruthless um, and, and changed the way he played throughout the course of his career. And um, yeah, tough player and, and really smart player too. And whoever's put, I've thrown a kettle over a roof, what have you ever done? You really are a sad little man, aren't you? How does it feel being Rhino's captain? It feels very... Uh, it's sort of a, a lot of pride with that. There's a lot of pride and there's a lot of um, realisations of, of dreams, really, that, that I've had since being a young kid. Um, and, you know, to, to do that is, is quite unbelievable. It's quite unbelievable and it's quite... Uh, something that I've, I've worked towards all my life, you know, with that, the question about the mindset, it's something I've worked towards all my life. And it's, um, also it gives it gives a platform to, to be able to, to help other younger players and to help other people and, and to sort of offer that role too going forward. And, you know, there's nothing more that I like um, than being involved in a tough game and sort of, coming forward and, and, and hopefully being that player that, that, that still goes through the tough periods and still goes through the, the hard stuff. Um, you know, I've always felt pride in that and, and if that's in alignment with being a captain then then that works great too. What was my mindset as a youngster trying to play for Leeds? Um, it was a single minded mindset really. Every every decision that I'd make, everything that I wanted to do or not do would be in alignment with making it as a Rhinos player. Um, so sacrifices um, in drinking when you could start drinking as a youngster, um, sacrifices in social events and stuff like that. But also um, as a youngster, I remember, I remember every time I'd go out to lek out or to play out as a youngster, there'd be a rugby ball there. And this, I wasn't much for sacrifice because I enjoyed it. And it was something that I do all the time. And, you know, thinking back, that's sort of like the 10,000 hours rule, um, you know, that I'd sort of just pick up, just messing about with rugby ball, um, you know, but getting older and growing up, it'd be, you know, every decision that I'd make and, 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 and something that, that I'd be so focused on, on the achievement of doing it and to make it into the team and, and to buzz off everything and every, every sort of achievement, you know, um, that's, that's what it was and, and that's what it took. Um, so yeah, that that was the mindset, the the sort of main bulk of the mindset. How have I entertained myself during lockdown? I have um, been part of a little known production called Connected. Actually, it takes the form of a radio play, so it's seven to eight minutes each episode, um, and I play a twenty six year old Sparky and I, in the play, meet up with a plasterer, um, 40 year old plasterer, and we talk about life, have a bit of banter about sport, about Leeds United, about Liverpool, but we also talk about what is in the story, the upcoming coronavirus, and it takes you through the story of what we've all just been on um, in coronavirus, and 
we have a laugh about it and there's some good jokes, there's some funny jokes and there's some different storylines that, that end up coming out of that. So that's a radio play that I've been doing. Um, you can hear that on the Red Ladder podcast. You can hear that on the Mentality podcast too. Um, it's been fun. Um, it's been definitely entertaining me over the course of coronavirus lockdown period. Who is your closest friend at the Rhinos? Um, I'd have to say probably uh, Adam Cuthbertson. Probably because he's, he's, he's sort of the strangest fella. Um, and, uh, you know, apart from James Jones, who kind of leaving, he's probably the, the least or the, the strangest fella that's left um, after Jones is gone. But he's, he's funny. We've had some good holidays together. We had some good times together. So we shared some good moments on the field too. Um, and he's, you know, he's funny. He's an Aussie, so he can carry on talking and, and keep speaking. So you've got to be able to know when to stop listening or when to tell him to stop talking. But, um, you know, the, the main thing was that is he's got some good con content as well and he talks pretty well too, so cuff board, say. What type of music do you listen to on game day and why? I listen to a big range of music. I listen to um, a lot of rap. Uh, I listen to some metal music as well sometimes before a game. Um, it's, it obviously gets you going, it gets you pumped for it. I listen to some rock. I listen to some sort of jazz music. Um, Yusef Days, who's like this up and coming drummer, who's pretty good. Um, he's got a new album out with Tom Meesh at the minute um, called What Kind of Music. So I've listened to that, it's good. But yeah, I'll, I'll throw back to Linkin Park stuff, I'll throw back to Jay Z stuff. Um, and that'll be the sort of content for the, the music on game day. Best experience with the Rhinos? I would say the best experience that I've been lucky to have with the Rhinos, I've had so many. Um, I've had so many at different times with different people, different players. Uh, but I'd say 2017 Grand Final, just because I was sort of... Um, the possibility of it had been ripped away from me one week before it, uh, the semi-final, dislocated my shoulder about 10 minutes before the end. Um, but then I sort of was able to sort of pick up my mindset, cultivate everything that I learned over the last few years with mentality, but also being a Rhinos player and, and learning and growing in that fashion um, and being resilient enough to just say that I wanted to play and that, that there was no other option. So going on to beat Cass to, to, to win a grand final at Old Trafford um, that was amazing and to play the full game and to play the full game and sort of have that that experience was, was pretty wild um, and something I'll never forget how can I combat mental health issues during these difficult circumstances we have actually created a pack and we've put a pack out on mentalitymagazine.com forward slash coronavirus if you guys want to download anything to help you there's, there's all explanations that you can go through stuff work through stuff on your own sit down and and get your mental health in order we designed that and and and, and delivered that with dr alan johnston who is a sports psychiatrist top sports psychiatrist for team gb um, and dlma so he, he speaks with and looks after english football managers mental health too so we were able to use some of his models, put them out there um, to help you guys. Um, so that's what you can do immediately to go and combat mental health issues that you may have. Thank you guys for watching me answer some of your questions. Um, if you have any more questions, just fire them at me. Uh, fire them at me on Instagram, fire them on Twitter. Uh, but thank you, I enjoyed that. And um, everyone keep safe, take care into these times where we're easing restrictions stay alert and um yeah take care thanks for all the questions and i hope to see you all soon